50 to get the 50 wood to get a lumber camp. Hey, what's up, Rogue? Uh, I hope I get a good one too. Ooh, this will be interesting. Well, I think versus... So we are going to do a 2TC build. I know what you guys are thinking. Blade, are you crazy? I am actually a little crazy. Oh, I saw a sheep there. Let's grab that sheep. Let's go, bam. I am a little crazy. I might just, I'll, I'll be honest, I may die in the first few minutes of this game. There's a very good chance I just die in the first few minutes of this game. Just, just a heads up. Where's my gold? There it is. Yeah, I, I'll be very curious how Abbasid does after this, uh, on this patch. It'll be interesting. Or on the patch. To, yeah, oh man, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Tomorrow's patch is going to be epic. Yeah, you're not going to get all the sheep this game, buddy. You got all my sheep last game, so it's kind of nice that he didn't get him this game. And you're just going to strike at any time. Boop. <laughs> Might as well return these sheep. I mean, alligators only strike at certain areas. They, they don't strike where I live, I promise you that much. Uh, let's get that on wood. We're going to be going 2TC here. Oh, right. What civ am I playing against again? Oh, right. English. So we're probably going to put the tower like here. Second TC here. Tower here, maybe? That should protect us. Let's get one more on there. So we have, what, a minute 15? So we'll be advanced by 447 approximately. That's not bad. Can't complain about that. We have 13 sheep, by the way. I just want I, I want that to be known. We have 13 sheep. Fourteen if you count that one. How far is Idaho from Mississippi and Louisiana? I don't actually know. Like, I know it's not like... It's <clears throat> it's a decent distance, but... I don't know the exact timings. Okay. And he's going barracks. Interesting. Oh, wait. We actually need more on gold. I forgot about that. And the reason...
reason we need that. Because we need to get this, and we need to get the upgrade. I forgot I was playing against English almost. Okay. And then we don't care about this anymore. This should protect this wood line. He could come from this way, but that's okay. All right. It's annoying, but we can deal with it. Okay. And we'll put our second town center here. Okay, he lost his villager by the way, so that slows down his push. Well, let's get more over here. Okay, we can definitely get more on food now. Now, I'm, he might be pushing a tower here. Let's put these on gold. Oh, another sheep. <clears throat> okay, so nothing that way. So this is good, good. Actually, no. Okay, we can see that. I think 16 on wood should be enough. That's not a problem, not yet anyway. You hear there will be a cobalt rush <coughs> in Idaho? Really? We're actually going to go all the way around here with the- oh no we're not, not anymore. That sucks that he scouted that. So close. Okay, six on woods, all we need there. Nice. All right, now we're going to move across. Uh, that actually doesn't do anything, so we're fine. Annoying, but that's not going to do anything. Oh, 
We need to get a blacksmith as well. You might be looking to advance here. Doesn't have that much. Wait, how does he get have vision of that? Alright. Well, we're gonna advance here in a moment anyway, so I'm not too concerned. Actually, let's let's do this. Got to be careful now. Enough. 
Mm, probably not worth taking right now. We're gonna take out the towers, that's all I care about. I don't give a shit about anything else. Can't actually take any food here. Is there a command for blade thoughts on the patch? Uh, no, there is not actually. Also, holy shit, how do you guys jump up from like... I just jumped up from like 30 to... <laughs> to 90. I'm guessing someone got off. Oh, hey, that guy's top 40 with English. Now that would be a good game to showcase the 2TC build against English. I think that was perfect. That was a clean game. Uh, what do I think about the Chinese nerfs? I love them. I know it's... Uh, I know people aren't... set. Wow, look at this villager lead. Okay, that's... Oh, I did kill some. We'll watch the replay and analyze why he was so weak, but I think I know why. Uh, my two TCs plus my villager raid. I am super excited for China nerf. Now... They probably need a buff to compensate for that, and I'm not going to disagree with that at all, but I am super hyped for the nerf. Uh, Siege nerf needed to happen. Siege is so bad in this game, and I do think a lot of people, and I don't think that's an unpopular sentiment. Uh, since we have a lot more people, after this game, I can go into more detailed analysis of the patch if people want me to, to get my thoughts, but I'll let you guys decide. Maybe I'll do like a straw poll and let you guys decide what you want to do. Uh, I, w I don't expect HRE landmark nerfs for a while. Uh, okay. So let's watch this game a little bit here. So for those curious, I actually do have a YouTube guide on how to do Two Town Center Abbasid versus English. Um, I don't know if I still have the command, but it's in the guides section if for those curious. And I go over this exact build I did with my thought process and everything on how to properly do it. Uh, but, yeah. but yeah, don't expect the Swabby or Regnant nerf anytime soon. Frankly, uh, while it does need to be done, there are other problems in the game that need it, that need to be addressed first, in my opinion. Uh, so let's just fast forward. Um, so for those curious on the the build is you go two town centers, except you build a tower before your second town center. And then you wall where you need to. He assumed I was going to go cavalry, so that's why he made a uh, spear. 
stables aren't bad, but they're hard countered by spears. So I'm going to explain my thought process just a little bit so you guys understand. So I placed the tower here and got the arrow slits upgrade. This allows us so that he can't just poke into this wood villagers um, without losing some archers. And it protects my berry line. Now he could go back here and go for my gold, but this isn't really that important to me. I don't care about gold right now. Um, and if he tries to go for this stone, which he could do, his uh, longbows will be really out of position and I can just kill them and his reinforcements will take too long. Um, so that was my thought process to this tower here. The wall here was to protect this wood line so we couldn't sneak in here and do this. Now, which it would be hard anyway because this town center would protect it, but this wood line is also important for that. Um, as for the comment on China being absolute trash, I think... I bet there's going to be something that's going to surprise people with them. I think someone who's going to is going to figure something out with China that doesn't rely on siege. That doesn't mean that China doesn't need a buff to compensate for their nerfs. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying I don't think they're going to be as weak as people say. But I also don't think they're going to be as strong as they were before, of course. Um, and then he lost that villager, so this really slowed his attack. Now, as you'll notice, this is probably 40 seconds later than normal. That's expected. Um, so then, the goal from here is to get three to four archery ranges. And you want to play just archers. Uh, the reason why I don't go horsemen again is spearmen are very strong. And I, I always regret going horsemen against English, I feel like. Because the longbow mass, when they get that critical mass, is super strong. This allows us to get a very strong economy while we build a ton of units and we outmass his longbows. And even though he's going to have upgrades here, which I could probably... I think I should have done blacksmith before my fourth range. Um, but let's look at our army counts right now. If we look, we have 18 archers. He has 19, so we're already caught up to his numbers. But this is used to harass. And then this is what I think. I think I heard him quite a bit here. Because we're at 41 villagers. And he's at 34. I've dodged island maps like a thousand times. So he lost four villagers. It looks like. And a bunch of idle time. And he's, he's, he's on berries. Which as English is not the best. He preferably should be on hunts. Which I'm, I'm sad he wasn't because I was going to go for his hunts, but I noticed they weren't being taken. Uh, yes, English longbows will beat you in the same mass. You never engage him with the same mass, but you're going to notice we outscale him pretty quickly. So notice this right now. He's got 25 longbows. We have 18 back at home already. That's not including these nine. So we're already, and these, this was like 12 or 14 archers originally. So we're already caught up almost back to the numbers that he has. Um, and we're pumping out of four archery ranges. This could have been sooner. I should have got this before the fourth range. Oh, funny that he did this because of that raid I did. Um, but at this point, we don't have to kill him. We got another two villagers here, by the way. He's at... He's at 34 villagers right now. 34 when he was at 42 before my raids. Unless, did he lose more villagers somewhere else? I don't feel like... I didn't realize I killed so many. But he's at 34. And we're at 57. So this raid did a lot of damage. More than I realized, I guess. I thought I killed only six villagers. Which I actually would put him about here. Six, seven villagers. Um, we lose that army. And then as you can see, we've already got 25 archers. A way better economy. Castle Age coming. He's got 26 longbows. We have 28 bows. So we already outmass his longbows. Just making sure before I say that. Okay, no. So he has 30. And we have 28 with four more about to pop. So that's kind of the theory behind the build. 
Um, it works really well in my experience. As we saw this game, this guy was top 50, and I was able to not only lose, to, I lost 12 archers for villagers, and I still was able to get more of a mass. And he can't engage. If he makes a ram, he's never going to break me. Like, he'll take this out, but he's never going to break me. Not with two town centers, plus my own bowmen, um, and so on. So yeah, it looks like we did more damage than I thought. I made a new account to practice Abbasid, Delhi, and Mongols. Yeah, well, Abbasid, I'm not sure if the new patch is going to make them super